trying to change the trim relays to make the motor go up and down and you can see I had tagged them before we up and down well one of these went out so we tried to figure out which one it was and I truly believe it's the up one that's still working the down one definitely not working so we're gonna replace both of them today it's a very simple uh, procedure and the screw to go in there let me point it out right there I already removed that one that went to this one right here so we're gonna unscrew this one and uh, replace with new screws and new parts new relays okay and that way when we click on hot wire it this just make a clicking sound this one make a clicking sound so we change the fluid down here in the reservoir the hydraulic fluid so we know that's not the problem so we can go ahead and do that uh, change these out and then come back and try to do it remotely see if it go up and down all right hang in there with me all right peace all right what well, they say the truth is in the pudding i don't know who made that up but i'm truly excited to see if this really works um troubleshooting why the motor won't go up and down trim up and down and this is on a 124 mercury marine 120 horsepower yes oldy but goody and she's still strong two barrel operator and you see the two barrels right there uh, that's the starter and you got four spark plugs four cylinders and she get up and walk the dog for real still get it but let's see we want to make sure the trim work so I set up these jumper wires and we're gonna try to see if it goes down or up I just put the new relay trim relay switches on right here just put those two they're brand new just got them today all right let's see okay that goes down try this black one to see if it goes up bump it on the starter yep it working it's working it's working wow now i have no issues with that going to the boat ramp or trimming my motor as i'm going down the, the waterways all right it's so simple and easy so if you're having that trouble you can also put a new solenoid which i did last year i put this new solenoid on with the starter put a new starter on and that was pretty easy to do uh, just one boat up here holding it and just change out those boats four boats right there the hot and negative the red is hot which you know I'm telling you nothing you don't know the black goes to the ground goes to the, the all right so like I said the black goes to the bottom of the starter and that's it and on these force motors, if you got one, the older ones, two stroke, you got a button right there that can reset the flow of your gasoline going into your starter. Sometimes it'd be hard to start, but make sure you uh, can want, push that one time and reset the flow of your gasoline going to your starter. All right. And while we're looking at it, let me get a screwdriver while we're looking at it. I don't know if you can see it or not, but uh, the glare is kind of rough. But right here, yeah, if you can see I got a little red dot. I used some fingernail polish from my wife. And I put a dot there when it's wide open throttle. This red dot should line up with the dot up top. And you can check your throttle linkage, see if it's proper. 
pull it all, pull it, push it all the way down for wide open. And um, when you do that, these two red dots are line up. And you got the same for the bottom corporator, corporator down here as well. But that's just a little uh, hack I found that's, that's working. And it means a lot because if you got it wide open and it's still all, these marks aren't matching up, then you know you're not going to get the full power out of your carburetor, out of your motor. All right. With that said and done, we're going to go ahead and uh, mount it back up to the mounting holes, these relays, and put the, put the cowl back on and uh, head to the lake. All right. Peace out. Hit that like button. Help out my channel. Subscribe, it's free, while we cook up some more good videos that season just right, my brothers.